Going? Okay. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of Creepy Old Crypt, the show where we take old Disney stuff, dust it off, kind of talk about it, whatever. I don't know what number episode this is. Is it four? I think it's four. I think it's the fourth one, but I've already forgotten. That's how bad it is. Um, episode three left. Not how bad it is, how bad I am. Um, we're backing up into a brand new episode right now and this week we're going to talk we're going a little bit european because today we're going to talk about this is a raw episode by the way we don't need no theme song we don't need any of that stuff we're getting right into something that maybe some people watching this have never seen or experienced i don't know a lot of people most of the people watch us or listen to us i would say are probably american so you may never have been to disneyland paris we both have, mm. and in fact, you just got back from it, yep. and so I thought that's the perfect thing to talk about because it's fresh on your mind. I went there like five years ago, whatever, but I remember it. Okay, so yeah. you being just back from it was a good, you know, would be a good, it would be a good exactly. time to discuss that. So yeah. that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're here in, you know, obviously we, we weren't going to fly to Paris for this episode. You know, it was a little out of the budget, so we're here at Disneyland. Let's we can get... Yeah, we're, we're in Fantasyland right now. What is this restaurant called? I forgot. We're outside the Village House. No, but they themed it to, what is it, the Rose? It's like the Rose Tavern? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's where we're at. They, yeah, it's like a Beauty and the Beast. Mm. It used to be a, it was a Pinocchio restaurant, but they like rethemed it. Yeah. To Beauty and the Beast temporarily, but if you want my opinion, I think it's permanent. Because it's, it's, it's be. been doing so much better since yeah. they made it Beauty and the Beast. Yo, they got like this beef like poutine thing i've eaten 90 percent of it so that doesn't look too good but yeah but as they say in the in the famous song try the gray stuff it's delicious <laughs> um so we did that we got the gray stuff with us on deck and this looks like a lot of frosting this guy has never had the gray stuff ever so right now live on tape you will see his first bite of the gray it stuff. It doesn't look that good. You know, it just looks like straight frosting it was, on a on a on a shortbread cracker. Okay, but here's the thing: there's you got a surprise inside. There's red velvet cake inside. I know you're a red velvet head. Oh, I, know I you hate were, red I, velvet. I know. I know you're okay. No more negativity. Just eat. Red velvet sucks. Dig okay, right go. in. I'm going for it. There's a lot of there's. I think there's like some kind of filling in it too. Oh, I see that. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. He's going in. Here it is. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Did the movie lie? We're gonna find out right now. It's okay. It it's did look okay. like I've wounded this thing. Doesn't it? It is bleeding. It, it is looks open like a wound. David Cronenberg style dessert. It looks like a, a, like they themed this restaurant after Videodrome. That's not bad. It's better than you thought, right? Yeah. That's what I thought too. When I saw it, I thought, I thought oh, this, this is, is, a, this is a lot of frosting. I saw this not. and I was like, all frosting. No, no it's got filling and there's stuff in there, cake in there, and and you know, I'm you know, I don't care about red velvet, but it's not like it's not. I mean, it's still cake. I, I'll eat it. Yeah, you know? but it's, it's just, I'm not. I'm not. You know, food coloring flavored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not in love with it, but no. it's tasty. You know. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think we're on. And you got the shortbread cookie at the bottom. You know, nope. it's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Um. Anyway. There it is, the final verdict. It's okay. All right. So on that European uh, jump off point, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. On that point, uh, well, actually, before we get to the main subject, we should say, again, we were uh, we're here at Disneyland. We had an unexpected kind of a free day yeah. today before we leave on a trip. So we thought we would stop by here and uh, and do this, but you had not seen the train, like the, no. all the new updated stuff. Uh, I think since last time, the since last time, the last we, did time one, we filmed this was the last time we went to Disneyland. So none of the train or anything. Like I don't think I open. had seen it by the last one. I yeah. mean, obviously, yeah. So that's brand new for both of us. Yeah. Then. But you just saw it today. Yeah. So what did you think about all that? Uh, I thought it was great. In case in case people didn't know, yeah. they they redid. They closed the train here for the past like two years. Yeah. And the rivers and, of America. And the rivers of anything on the river with yeah. the steamboat and all that stuff was has been closed for two years almost. Yeah. And so anyway, you you like what they did? I liked it. They did a really good job. I was afraid because I love the rivers of America, but. Uh, yeah, they made it really grandiose, and I yeah. liked it. Yeah, I liked yeah. it a lot. I think, you know, they have uh, they have shortened the river, but not a ton. Yeah, 
but um, you know, the, the only thing that is, I will say, not there is, you know, there used to be like a, another like minute or two. It felt like there was another minute or two back in the day of just nature mm -hmm. at the end before you get back to yeah. civilization. And it's kind of nice getting away from all the people and whatever. And I, I guess it's a little shorter, but I didn't feel like uh, what was there was a compromise in, ter in terms of. Yeah. Uh, it still felt like a relaxing yeah. river cruise it's away from everything. Now, the reason it yeah. had that nature area is because that was an area inaccessible to people. Yeah. And so you'd go by that. They've completely removed all that. Yeah. And that's what you go around now. So basically, yeah. you go around where Fort Wilderness is, mm -hmm. and that's just, you're never away from people. Yeah. You're Now, uh, like, all that's left is the small little Yeah, you kind of never area. get away from them. Yeah. But, but I, what I was telling Kevin is, I feel like a big part of why it felt so secluded and and whatever before was how overgrown it was. Mm -hmm. You felt like you were never really seeing something directly. Everything was kind of hidden amongst the trees and the shrubs because it was all so overgrown. But it's all new now. Yeah. And so I, I was saying to him, it's like, I feel like it's good now, but it will actually be amazing, more, mm -hmm. even more amazing years from now because it will grow. It's yeah. all new trees the and trees stuff. Trees will in fill there. in, all yeah. that stuff. There's a lot can, of gaps right, right now. Right now, you could see. Star Wars land and the parking structure on in the mm. you know it's like it's all things that kind of take away from being lost in the wilderness but yeah. that will all be repaired yep. and and over the years it will grow in more so um, I think it's kind of a long game here a little bit yeah. but I thought what they did was great you know like I said you know yeah I mean I could have been a little longer at the end I guess sure but I didn't feel like it was shorter in any way that I was ripped off or, yeah. or like, oh, no. it's not as good. It was a good compromise. You know, I thought they did great. But I will say, I, I think the train is ulti completely better. Uh, yeah. Now when you go through Frontierland, it's it's like a ride unto itself. It mm -hmm. used to just be, all right, we're going through Frontierland, point A to point B. But now you go over the ridge. Yeah, there's and waterfalls. You go, yeah, you're going over the river. The waterfalls around you. But I love, the best thing they did, in my opinion, was these little nature's wonderland touches around the train where they had little like taxidermy animals yeah. and and there were some people i saw online that were like what are all these lame fake animals laying around the the track that is so yeah that is so it's nature's wonderland it's awesome like old disney hokey disney kind of mm. thing which is what i love i'm sure you do too yeah and, I mean, the whole reason we're recording this is dusting off old, weird Disney mm. stuff. That's the perfect example yeah. of that, is just goofy-ass taxidermy animals laying around. And you can, he you can hear them play a little, like, you know, there's like a, there was like a, some kind of wild cat out perched by the train. Yeah, so they and, play an audio cue and there, you can that. Yeah, you drive by and you just, you just hear a <laughs> under yeah. it. I mean, it's, it's so funny, but I love that they added that. They got that. warehouses full of this stuff that they saved, yeah. and so they might as well use it. And that's what I was saying to yeah. you, too, is... There's a black cat now in the on the in the on the train track to Adventureland that I think was there when I was little, but it it went away or something. Yeah. I think that's old as hell, and they took it out of storage and put it back. It's like perched on a hill or whatever. Yeah. I keep touching. I the don't. Leg. I don't remember so. that, but uh, <laughs> I think that there'll probably be people talking on, on online and stuff that will remember yeah. that when they were kids. I think I saw some people saying that. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I thought they did a great job. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I think and the, and the diorama my maybe one of my top three favorite things at Disneyland has always been that di the Grand Canyon diorama mm. with the dinosaurs and all that yeah. that they really cl I feel like it is better lit the sound oh, yeah. is better did it ever have uh, wind blowing through the trees and stuff like that before or is that new I don't because I don't remember it, the, no. all the leaves rustling well they definitely stuff. added weather effects yeah. and stuff like that and I could take or leave that. Like, it looks like, oh, it looks like thunder hit a tree. And it, I don't yeah. really need the in-your-face stuff. No, like, that was right there. It looks face. like there were, there were, like, birds flying, too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really need the in-your-face stuff. But the, the subtle things, the lighting and the, like, you know, the where it looks like there's a drought going on and the, the dust is kind of picking up. All the little weather things, I thought were really cool, actually. I thought yeah. it looks like they turned the, the they kind of turned the volume up on the whole mm -hmm. thing. And I guess that you know that it kind of makes it exciting for a new generation of people to discover. I guess, yeah. but but Those, nothing was. Oh yeah. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, nothing was physically like damaged or. Oh no, they changed this. No, it was all lighting. That's what I was saying. Like they they don't move. They didn't like destroy anything or move anything around. They just kind of 
added what was already there. It's yeah. Like they didn't touch anything that was there. Yeah. And they just relit it and put new projections. So. Yeah. So none of it was yeah. like, oh no, oh I'm devastated. I mean, it was like they yeah. preserved it. Some of it, if you flip a switch, it's back to the old, old exactly. one. So. So it didn't. Yeah. None, none of that bothered me at all. No. I, th I thought they did. A, I thought they did a good job making it a little more exciting. Yeah. Um, I do too. You know, because some some people do find that boring. I don't. I could look at. Mm -hmm. I mean, that to me is like a piece of art. I love it. But uh, but you know, it makes it, it. You know, it's not like they went totally ADD on it. If they had, that would have been depressing. It, they just lit it in a way that was. It's it's a little more like get okay. Put down, put down your phone and look at this. Look yeah. how awesome this looks. Yeah. You know, I thought they did a great job. So I agree. Anyway, anyway, that has nothing to do with our main subject. Yeah, but we had to talk about saying, that. Uh, is that that actually isn't in Paris? The dinosaurs? Yeah. They put the diorama and stuff, but it yeah. just never gets to the dinosaurs. Yeah. Like so. Let's start with that then. Yeah. Okay. So Disneyland Paris, you go on the train there. I was just telling him. I feel like uh, it. Maybe I'm crazy, and maybe I'm not remembering this correctly. I, I feel like there's like only one train there, or something. It felt like it that. felt like there. I, me and Derek went there, and I felt like I was waiting for the train for a year. And it was so slow mm -hmm. going around that I feel like maybe that's the only one, but maybe I could be remembering that correct. I don't know. I have no idea. It seems like the Main Street one was always packed. Yeah. And all the rest weren't that bad. Yeah. So. Uh, but I was, I was, yeah, I was kind of disappointed in the train over there just because, yeah, it didn't have the diorama mm -hmm. and it took forever. I did like that when it went near Pirates. It seems like there was like a dead pirate in there or something. You like can, I remember um, there were like skeletons or something. Uh, they like just like how our train goes through um yeah uh, splash mountain has a yeah. whole scene and stuff like that uh in paris it goes through pirates the same yeah. way and uh it's yeah it's it's like stuff you see from the ride but yeah. now it's barbosa yeah and yeah. uh and captain jack oh okay. you can see both of them at the end of the ride and when oh, you're going through okay. there you can see them no kidding yep. wow that's kind of surprising i didn't realize that yeah. Yeah, because I knew I saw something before, but it wasn't yeah, anything it goes like down, that. They changed all the, like the, the end of the ride. Paris so. didn't get any of the movie stuff until just now, yep. right? So we'll we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. Um, but uh, my first uh, impression, I guess we'll start at the beginning. I mean, we talked about the train a little bit. Yeah. But uh, my first impression walking in was, wow, like, you know, I think it was Tony Baxter said with the different parks, he he, he categorized them. He was like, Disneyland is the most charming theme park in the world. And that's true. It's like it's, everything's everything is scaled down mm -hmm. and charming. Disney World is the most spectacular park in the world, meaning it's all oh my gosh, everything is so like expansive and whatever. But Disneyland Paris is the most beautiful park in the world, and I think that is a, such a great description yeah. because everything was sculpted and, and like every structure was like oh my god, it's just beautiful. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, it's the like French architecture and like. Oh my gosh, it impressed me so much. Everything looked great. But it looked like when you when you went into Disneyland, it looked like you you kind of like passed under a big structure. And I believe that's a hotel. Yes, isn't the hotel, it? it's before you get to the line the area where you give them your ticket and everything, yeah. it's just giant basically covered area. That, yeah. That's it's basically a hotel above you. Yeah. And it's this really nice fountain and giant hotel before you even get into the park, before you hit Main Street. Yeah, it's just this huge building that looks awesome. I had heard that uh, that when Tony Baxter and the other big Imagineers that worked on the park, when they were putting that together, it wasn't a real hotel. It was just a you know facade, a facade or yeah. it was some other building. And when they were trying to put it together, they wanted to put some really impressive stuff in there mm. and all that. And they like could not get quite clear the budget to make it the way they wanted yeah. it. And Michael Eisner came to Paris and was looking at it with them. You know, they were all just like, yeah, you know, we want to do this, but we don't have the money. And we want, you know, we really think it's important to have this big hotel because they wanted to kind of, they really wanted to maintain that the park was kind of away from everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, hey, you're secluded. Hey, you're leaving the world behind. You come in here, you know. Even in Disneyland here in, in California, you kind of have... You pass through the gates. Yeah. You know, you pass you through. You can't see outside. You yeah, can't, like, at all. And and over there, they wanted to make sure they had that. And they said, like, to really block people's view here, we wanted to we wanted to kind of have a big structure, but we couldn't get the money. And and again, they wanted to make a fake hotel. Yeah. And Michael Eisner was standing there, just like, why don't we just make it a real hotel? And make money. Off and it. then you make money off yeah. of it. There's your <laughs> there's the cash yep. you need right there. Mm -hmm. 
And they, it's so funny because it went through all these discussions where they were like, uh, that's not going to work. Because at that point, there was never a hotel on, on the park ground. There was yeah. never, in Disney history, there was never a hotel connected to a theme park. Mm-hmm. Where it was actually like on the same property, yeah. you know, or whatever. The hotels were always far away. Like at Disney World, you got to take a monorail to yeah. your hotel. Like it's not there. So uh, they were like, yeah, you know, it's not going to work because people, when they when they want to go to a hotel, they want to get away. You know, they were at the theme park all day. They want to get away from that and like enjoy, you know, they, they don't want to be in the theme park all day. They, they, they need to escape yeah. from that. Well, that ended up being the stupidest thing ever said <laughs> because they built that hotel. It was a phenomenal success. I mean, I think Euro Disney in the beginning kind of flopped in general. Oh, yeah. But I think the hotel did good mm. for what it was and still does. Yeah. Because um, the park does good now, I think. But then that led to the Grand Californian here in, in California, which is on the the, the uh, California Adventure property. Yeah. You literally stay in a room and then you go down the elevator and you can walk into the park. And it's the best place to stay because yeah. it's built right on the park. You don't have to go, you don't take any tram no. or rail or anything. Uh, we stayed there before mm-hmm. and it's so great that it's right there and you can look out the window yeah. and the park's right there. It's incredible. How funny that they thought that was a dumb idea. But that was the 90s, like they never yeah, tried it before. They were yeah. like, oh yeah, this isn't gonna work. How yeah. stupid. And it's like, it's like their biggest money maker yeah. now, you know, is that you, well, you could stay on the park ground. So yeah. anyway, it led to all these other places doing that. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's pretty incredible. But anyway, so uh, that was the first thing that I noticed. But um, their Main Street is incredible. It's really oh, yeah. cool. Like It's completely, like, unique. And yeah. they actually have the side, the, you know, here they kind of have that, they kind of open up the side areas for traffic. Yeah. Sometimes when it's really busy, they'll open up a window. Well, they have those on both sides in Disneyland Paris. Yeah. But they're so well done and unique yeah. and architecture-wise. And yeah. Like that. So they, they were saying that, uh, so yeah, you go into these shops and what's so cool is, yeah, they have those back out. Mm. Like, like it was always, like, I guess back in the day, Walt Disney wanted to add, like, kind of back alley places to, like, you'd go in the Main Street shops, but then there'd be stuff kind of behind them. Yeah. Like, you'd keep going and it's like, oh, there's like an alley with stuff in it, you know. And they kind of, like, the only park that really kind of delivered on that is Disneyland Paris. Yeah. There's a there's an entrance and exit to each one. Yeah. Like, one in the front and one in the back to this. Yeah. Back and area. it's enclosed. Like, yep. you go back it's, there and it's almost like, yeah, it's like a, like a, like you're in some kind of building behind it, you know? Yeah. And uh, they talk about, like, the Statue of Liberty and everything back there. Yeah. There's one part you can kind of duck into behind a store that has a, a diorama, I guess, mm-hmm. of the, uh. Yeah, giving the Statue of Liberty to America. Yeah. It's uh, it's, I for, I cannot name who's in that diorama. <laughs> it's on the top. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, a, an American president mm-hmm. and some French guy. Yep, shaking hands. I'm. I know I'm gonna get my ass beat in the comments <laughs> on this one, but they're shaking hands and fireworks are going off in the distance with the Statue of Liberty. Like that's the that's when we were given yeah. the statue, and I've touched her like a thousand times <laughs> during this. Totally fine. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just really excited about this. But anyway, um, yeah, and that diorama was really cool. Like, yeah. going back there, it was like, well, there's, like, all kinds of stuff to see back here behind the stores. And that was really cool. And I heard that, uh, I had heard that the, you know, that was another thing, like, the, you know, typically it's never, you know, mm. that's such a, it was such a big budget thing to add all these extra things yeah. that they thought, well, you know, nice idea, but we'll never get to do it. But what they wanted to do, what they bu- what they did budget for was they wanted to have um, Main Street in Paris covered. They wanted to have a structure over the entire Main Street so that, you know, they're like, well, you know, the weather gets a little dodgy sometimes, so now oh, we have yeah. protection from that. But they started to work on that. They budgeted for it, and they were starting to work on it, and it was like, look, the weather's not that crazy. Uh, we can't do, like, parades now yeah, because of this covering. Like, they ran into all these logistical problems, and it was like... N- yeah, maybe, and also too. When I think when when they started doing the ho- when they uh, when they did the hotel, yeah, they started when they started actually building it into a real hotel. They were like, if you stay here, you can't see Main Street. It'll just be blocked. It's by the covered, yeah. and so it was just a, a festival of you know. Okay, so, this is not. It. Yeah, this is not going to work. It was yeah. a com- what a, a festival of errors, comedy mm. of errors, whatever you want to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, they scrapped it, but with that money they saved at the end of it, they were like, okay, now we can add on to Main Street. And I think that what a great trade-off that yeah. worked out. That's that's one of the best details of it mm-hmm. is that you can keep exploring. And I think that is the strength of 
Disneyland Paris in general yeah. is that, you know, some rides are cool, some are not better than ours here. Okay, fine. Yeah. But the exploration mm -hmm. was the coolest part of Paris. I, I, I not, you know, I think you feel the same way. Oh, yeah. or, feel, or similarly. Just, lots, lots and lots of stuff to find. Mm. And uh, more than any other park, like, like, you know, there's certain things certain parks do better, and mm -hmm. I think theirs is definitely that I kept feeling like I was finding stuff off the beaten path. Yeah. And the best one was at the castle. You want to talk about yeah, that? Yeah, Under the I castle, mean, uh, there is a dragon's den. And yeah. basically, it's just a like a wet, dingy cave yeah. with a dragon head in it that the tail wraps around and everything, and it's yeah. all animatronic. And it's just sleeping, and then every couple of minutes, it'll just wake up and start, like, Looking around, getting yeah. pissed at people, <laughs> and it's just a nice. Gets pissed at it's, people. It's you nice know, little detail. Someone that dies. Didn't need to be there. Yeah, but it's just an added little bonus. It it's so. Gr I mean, it just and that was so cool. I mean, me and when when I went with Derek, mm -hmm. I mean, we were grown ass men <laughs> yeah. going there, but it really made you feel like a kid again. Just that sense of you know, I go to Disney. Yeah. I go to Disneyland here. I'm an adult. I get it. You know, and I don't. I don't. I'm not someone who chases their childhood. I'm like, oh, I wish I was still a kid or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Nor do I ever, nor do I ever have that feeling like I'm a kid when I'm here. I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an adult that happens to enjoy yeah. <laughs> the stuff that's here. Exactly. And it, whether it be in an artistic sense or or whatever, but I felt like a toddler being there <laughs> when I was at Disneyland Paris. Me and Derek w would just we didn't know anything, mm -hmm. and so we're walking around the castle, and is that a path? Under the castle? Oh my gosh! Oh, Derek, let's go down there. Oh, yeah, it's just some weird. It just, it's like not even. It's labeled slightly by a sign, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't see that. You don't know what's down there. Yeah, and, and it's in French. So, so I didn't me know and Derek felt like we were. We felt like we were discovering. Like it was like. You know, it felt like we were finding lost things. Yeah. It was just like, oh my gosh, there's a whole cavern down here. Oh my god, there's a dragon. You know, mm. it was incredible. The biggest one for for me and him, I had kind of heard about the dragon before, but. Um, the biggest one for me that I did not know anything, neither did he, about was Captain Nemo's oh, yeah. chamber in, uh, well, not, they, uh, instead it's of in, Tomorrowland, it's, what is it, Discoveryland? I think no. so. I, is that what it is? I don't remember. I think it is. Discoveryland. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Again, as always, this is, this is a conversational podcast, not a factual one. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think that's what it is, because there's this very... Too. Their, their Jules, Tomorrowland is very Jules Verne. Yes. Theme, and I right? love it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I love I love Tomorrowland, the concept of Tomorrowland. Mm. You know, I love, like, old visions of the future kind of thing. Like, you know, especially, like, some of the vintage stuff they have here. Yeah. I love that. But at, for a new park, I think that was a smart way to go. Yeah. Like, you know, they're like, look, there's no... We don't have... Over there, they don't have, like, the American sense of the, you know, the 60s vision of the future. Mm. Like, like uh, you know, going to the moon and all yeah. that stuff is not really, like... I feel like that's kind of an American, like, oh, yeah, oh, oh, UFOs and, you know. Yeah. Not that they don't like sci-fi over there, necessarily, but they went in a totally different way. Where it's, yeah, the Jules Verne thing, it's all very, like, exaggerated and, yeah. and uh, fantastical. It just... I thought it was a good yeah, move, like the, to keep it like, different. Their Space Mountain is based off Journey to the Moon, where you're getting yeah. a space bullet and get shot out of a space gun, Incredible. like shot out of a gun into yeah. space. Like, yeah, it's awesome. Now I like over here. Our our Space Mountain is old and cheesy. Yeah, and I think that old cheesy sci-fi, and mm -hmm. I think that's great. But to set themselves apart, and again to add to the beauty of the park, yeah, the theme being beautiful. I think the Jules Verne theme. It's almost romantic, almost, yeah. in a way. Like, it, I think they did such a great job. Yeah. But but anyway, yeah, the, so they have this uh, Captain Nemo. You can go down into, like, Captain Nemo's submarine. Yeah, and it's very, like, metal, like, yeah. submarine, dingy, and lots of steam pipes and lots of yeah. steam coming out of... You go underground yeah. into it and, and it, and it's almost like you're underwater in the yep. sub. And every now and then, the thing opens and you can see the squid. Yeah, it's just, it's, like, hanging outside, outside the giant yeah. dome window. That opens and closes. Occasion. That was so cool. Yeah, and that was something I did not know was there. Really? Yeah. And 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 I didn't see any signs around, and it was like, Derek, I think we can walk down here. Yeah. I think we can walk down there. This is weird. Derek got a little wigged out. Really? Because he was like, "Is this really underwater? Where are we going?" Like, 
he got a little like huh. I don't know how submerged this is. I don't know where we are. Yeah. What it, he he was creeped out exploring it, and yeah. I was like, I kind of was, but it was like, how great that again, you know, we're grown ass men, but we're but we're having an experience like yeah. that where it's like I don't know what's around this corner. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna see. You know, that was so cool. Yeah, it was awesome. It really just added to the magic of the whole thing. I was so impressed by that. Um, but anyway, so that was awesome. Um, while we're in Discovery Land yeah. or whatever it's whatever it's called, I really hope we're right about that. By the way, sorry, it is nightfall. Yeah. So it will get darker. We got some light. We got some light. A little enough light. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but while we're there. The unexpected treat. Now, I don't know if you got to experience this or not. Okay. By the time, oh, by the time you went. I did not. Okay. This breaks my heart. Yeah. The other unexpected treat in Tomorrowland that I did not know about is we're walking through it, or not Tomorrowland, Discovery Land, yeah. whatever, is I'm walking through it with Derek and I go, wait, they have Star Tours here. Oh my God. They have not updated Star Tours. Mm. What a treat that was. That now I've and I've said on here before, yeah. I like the new Star Tours. Yeah. But the old one was a classic, mm. and it was still there. Yep. Old ass, janky ass, Star Tours. Oh my God! We walked in and it was like it was so 80s it hurt. It was like. Yeah. It's all the old the old poster for Endor is in here. The old, Everything. Oh, it was so good. Mm. It was so good. The first time I went, yeah. they they were both they had just. They was were putting under in construction? The under construction. Uh, that whole area was under construction. Mm. And then this lately, this last time, it was completely the new one. All, really? all the new... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when they made that changeover, but man, it was like it was like going back to a dream. Mm. Because I never thought... In my mind, that was destroyed. Yeah. I was like, I'll never go on that. Yeah. And walking into it, and then having Rex come up. Of course, he spoke in French. But, uh... The old film and all that was, oh, it was like, I'm dreaming. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Such a classic. But I will say, I back up what I said before. It was janky. It was out of date. Yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, if it stayed forever, I'd love it. Don't get me wrong. I, I love the original. I'm not talking crap on it. But it, the update, I it, think, was a... It was ready for it. It needed an update. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think it benefited the world at large to update it. Yeah. But... Man, it was so great writing the old one. I bet. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so that was that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but I never went on Space Mountain. Yeah, you did, right? Space Mountain. Uh, I lucked out because How the first time I out? went, yeah, they were just about to turn it into, st into Star Wars Space Mountain. Ooh. And I got to uh, ride the original Enough. one. Enough Star where, Wars, uh, please. Yeah. yeah. And then this most recent one, I rode the Star Wars. Oh, it, it's still. So you did. It's yeah. Yeah. It's still fun. It's just a lot of projections and yeah. stuff. I don't. It, it's completely unnecessary. But yeah, um, their Space Mountain is better. Really? In every regard. So in what way? Like, um, it's well. No, wait. No, it's the first. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off. No, no, I was no. just gonna say, it's the only one that has a loop, right? Yeah. It has a loop. It oh has my a, god! It has a corkscrew. Uh, my favorite thing in the world about yeah. it. I didn't. I, I'm not a big fan of roller coasters. Space Mountain was basically sure. my limit here. That was yeah, basically like yeah. whatever. It, but I'm like, I've heard this one's great. I, I'm here, I have to ride it. And I rode it, I had so much fun, I am completely wiped, it's a fresh slate. I can ride anything. Really? Yep. I wow. can go on any any roller coaster I've, I've, any, I've tried like once, I've, I'm never gonna go on that, and I tried it, I'm like, this is fun. No so kidding. So I'm completely. So that raised your threshold? Yep. For any threshold, roller coaster at all? Um, maybe, I don't know, I've never been to a place that had a crazy enough roller coasters that I'm like, no, 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 no. But like, because I'm just wondering how you, yeah, like, go to Magic Mountain, screaming or over here. Yeah, uh, I used to. I'm never going on that. Uh, I went on it like just like really a few months ago, and I'm like, this is a blast. So, wow. Yeah. So completely reversal on that. But going back to Space Mountain, uh, they, like I said before, it's they shoot you out of a gun. So basically, you go around. Yeah. And this giant like door opens up. And, like it's loading a shell into the gun. Oh no, kidding! This giant door, and it, I didn't make, know it makes that. a sound. It goes like, yeah, and then and then it shuts, and like, okay, you're loaded in. Whoa! And you, there's no like countdown or anything like that. It's just you shoot off up this side, up the side of the mountain, and it's so so much fun. But um, the stupidest thing about the ride, yeah. it takes your picture before the roller coaster starts. What? Uh, Why? 
you basically load, yeah. and then it does a U-turn, and then that's where you get in to you load into the gun to, to shoot off. During that U-turn, there uh, right at the end of it, there's a small dip, and then you are on an incline, ready to go up, ready to shoot up. Uh, that's when they take your picture. Huh. You basically load into it, do this thing, and then it takes your picture, and then and then you stop, and then the ride is going to start. I have no idea why that is, if they couldn't yeah. work it out, but it's like, why take your picture outside of the ride? You're not even in the mountain yet. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, I don't get it. Yeah. The whole ride <laughs> is great. It's really, it's just like, um, there's lots of stars and stuff, yeah. but what's crazy is they have a lot of kind of cool neon effects. Oh, really? That like turn, or, like twist. And so when you're going through it, you're going straight through it, but it's the all the neons turning. Yeah. Um, just the way it's bent and so, like, yeah. so it looks really cool. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was great, and I've ridden both uh, like this one again recently, yeah. and and I'm like, I'm, I I don't know, I just miss that old one. Like, yeah. Not the old one, the um, Paris one. Yeah. This one kind of has its retro Disneyland charm. Yeah, I love this one, but but but, but in terms of a grand experience, great, yeah, like I, I, I preferred the Space Mountain over there. That's crazy. That, yeah. yeah uh, when I went with Derek, that was the like his priority one was like he loves Space Mountain. Yeah. So he's like, oh my god, the new one and. Uh, it storm. It like snowed while we were there, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Yeah, during snow we don't run it," and then they never ran it the whole. Time. And now it's Star. <laughs> but again, Star Tour. I mean, Space Mountain. I mean, uh, Star Wars Space Mountain doesn't necessarily mean it's permanent. It's just projection stuff. So they, yeah, it doesn't like, look. They didn't pe- change there much. Were, there were people fearing it would be permanent, yeah. but they just put in new cars, and their jewels weren't themed. They're not like yeah. Star Wars themed. It, so it, I don't think that's permanent. Other than like. The Star Wars theme and all that yeah. stuff, it, it's they can ease it. They just yeah. didn't just one back, so yes. uh, I'm not worried. Like, it'll, I, yeah. it'll be back. I, de- I think that'll, yeah, definitely. I think that's inevitable. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, well, that's cool. I'm glad you got to go on that because we didn't, and yeah. uh, I was just curious, you know, how that was gonna, yeah. how that was gonna be. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is in Tomorrowland, you know, honestly, what I was thinking was with you saying that they don't take your picture mid, mid ride or yeah. drop or whatever. I almost wonder if it's a cultural thing, you know, don't like, know. yeah, don't take a picture when someone's, you know, screaming yeah, or <laughs> maybe, but I do notice that every ride yeah. takes a pic. Pirates takes a picture of you there. Yeah, that does. And, it, and oh. it's like pirates. Um, Big Thunder takes a picture of you. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, uh, that, that's so it doesn't make here, sense. Then. <laughs> but I think that was, it was built in a time. I think all the places here that take your picture. No, yeah. Space Mountain was the seventies. I was going to say a lot of them don't take a picture because they were built before that was even a thing. Like, why yeah, take yeah. your picture? Yeah. And, uh, but uh, a lot of this, uh, a lot of these other rides were built in the '90s. I think that's why, like, Space Mountain is better. Is because just technology has advanced. Yes. By the time they got totally. to that point. Because when was your so, uh, back when it was Disneyland Paris was Euro Disney? Yeah. When it was built in like '92. '92. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't have like much of a history to it. Yeah. The Space Mountain here was built in, in like the late '70s. Yeah. So uh, things had advanced, just like sure. you know, the Matterhorn too. Well, well, Space Mountain over at Disney World was actually before the one here. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's not as good. Really? It's it's uh, no audio during the ride. It's like, oh, really? Yeah. Um, there's certain things that are cool due to the size of it. Yeah. Uh, the exit is way better there because they used to have a thing over there. Now we're getting off topic, but <laughs> there used to be a thing in there called RCA's Home of Future Living. Okay. RCA sponsored Space Mountain over there, and mm-hmm. when you left... It was like you went through all these futuristic living rooms yeah. of families and stuff. Well, th- since the, 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 the sponsorship has been long gone, yeah. but they put all these little dioramas in there. So it's like a robot like holding your luggage like, oh, are you going to Alpha Centauri? I've got, you know, yeah. your bags. You know, and all these little vignettes. It's really cool, and I don't think they have that here. No. Um, so there's little touches that are cool, but the ride itself I think yeah. is cooler here. Yeah. Anyway. Um, That's one theme I noticed in Paris yeah. is all of their roller coasters were better. Like, their Big Thunder yeah. is better. Um, really? And I think that they just had, like... In what big, way? Yeah. In, what in, was it in a lot of ways. Uh, they Here, they it replaced uh, Mind, Mind Train Through Nature's Wonderland. So they right. had, they were limited in their space. Very, yeah. Here, <laughs> they just they built a park knowing that they were going to put Big Thunder in there. Yeah, exactly. So they don't have Tom Sawyer Island. The island is basically big thunder yeah it's on an island it's, yeah, on, a, it's right. on an island so yeah. it's right in the middle of their i guess not rivers of america it's it's i forgot what it's called um <laughs> it might still be rivers of america it might be. i don't remember but um 
they because it's all it's all old American theme. Yeah, it is. Like so the, it might the, the still boat be. is called Molly Brown. They have yeah. Mark Twain, but it's it's gone. Oh, um, right. but uh, yeah. So you basically walk in, and it's awesome because this whole huge island is Big Thunder, and it's just it's completely different layout. I'm trying to like not be biased because sometimes new is makes it cooler. Absolutely, especially when you've been on something so many times. Yeah, if you go on to something else. It's the same totally. thing, and it's a whole new experience. They go, oh, I like that better. But, like, Big Thunder is, I believe, longer, and it's just, it's not, it's not so much crazier, it's just cooler. Like, I like it a lot, because a lot of it's more outdoors, you're on an island, so yeah. you're seeing a lot of water around you, and mm -hmm. everything like that. Mm. I mean, Tony Baxter did say, like, we tried to make this the best Big Thunder. Yeah. And they, 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 so I don't think that's just it. the newness yeah. of it, you know. Only problem is the line is so long on that. Really? It, it, it's always really? so. Why is long. it so bad? I don't know. It just is. Like hmm. the line is always way longer than anything else. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and it looks super cool. Let's talk about keeping with their frontier land. Yeah. I thought what was interesting about their frontier land was that it's like they really tried to make it um, kind of dried up yeah like here here Frontierland is really like oh look at the lake and the river and the trees and look how you know it's kind of like the celebration of nature mm. kind of you know their Frontierland feels like it's the gulch yeah it's like desert rock, Arid rock. dead dead plants yeah. you know they kept it's real brown and mm. I, I thought that was again as a change that was cool yeah because uh, you know I'm sure you could see lots of scenic stuff in France as it is already. So it's almost like more interesting to have it be kind of like crappy. I mean, I don't mean no, that. No, no, no. I don't mean like the land is crappy, but yeah. that it's not picturesque. It's actually very dead. Mm. It makes it like, whoa, where am I? You yeah. know, it's pretty cool. Um, which leads me to, I think my favorite thing, well, I'm not going to say my favorite thing there. My favorite thing there at Paris was probably the dragon, honestly. I thought yeah, that, was that was so really cool. cool. Um, which, which I want to say, uh, they initially denied Tony Baxter the uh, funding, for, funding that? for that part, and he fought and fought and fought, and they put it in, and it's consistently the number one rated thing at the park, <laughs> where people go, whoa, that yep. was cool, the dragon was the neatest part. Anyway, that's besides the point. Yeah. But one of the things that charmed me the most was their Haunted Mansion, mm. which was over there is called Phantom Manor. Yeah. And uh, I think I went on that more than anything there because I, I love the Haunted Mansion. I loved it. Wasn't it great? I loved it so much. Um, it, I'm, a, I'm a fan of creepy stuff. Mm. So when something is creepier, yeah. I love it. It's You're, definitely creepier. Like, yep. for sure. <laughs> I mean, the like the end of it has a laughing like laughing skeleton with little bits of flesh coming off of his bone. Yeah. Well, like, so let's back up. Let, okay, so... This woman is shining her light on her, on us from her little from her. I didn't uh, know if that was security or not. But yeah. Like, like it, a, oh, it's like a guy yeah. who's like rascal. But I wish he would stay here because the lighting is good. <laughs> anyway, um, he's got like rave lights at the bottom. Under, yeah. Everyone at home is just gonna have to imagine this. I know. It's got haunted house black lights under his car. Anyway, okay. So, uh, Phantom Man. They they actually added kind of a. So I guess, I get we we brought up cultural differences before, mm. and I guess culturally. Uh, Europe doesn't really, uh, it, like our Haunted Mansion, it's funny scary. Mm. It's, yeah, they're all dead, yeah, they're all ghosts, oh, goofy. but we're having a party. Yeah. It's, the, you know, the ghosts come out to socialize, we're having a good time. And I guess culturally that doesn't really carry over. No. Um, it's like, why, why is that funny? They're dead. Yeah. Why is that funny? So, they, <laughs> so I, I, as, from what I understand, maybe that's not true, I don't know, but that's what they said. So... They went with a sto kind of a storyline that was just scary, dark. Yeah, yeah. and really it's dark. that it's that if I'm trying to remember this correctly, that the the, the frontier land there or Boot Hill, whatever that the house is on, yeah. is was part of a was like the nice mansion of at the top of a mining colony. Like, you know, everybody in the town works on the works at the mine, mm. and the owner of the mines or lives whatever in lives house. in this big house. Yeah. And then one day the mines collapsed and ate up all the worker, killed all the workers, yeah. and uh, and the owner, what what happened? Oh, I'm trying to remember this. Like the owner, what happened? The 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 his daughter was going to get married, but he died in the mine accident, and 
and she I, I, I could be making this up but <laughs> I think she like blamed him okay. like he might have blown up the mines to keep her from marrying him yeah. or there's some plot there mm. where the owner of that mansion the, the main guy is like a, a murderous psychopath or yeah. something and he might have done that to the mines maybe I'm making that up Hey, everybody at home, look it up for yourself. I could be way off. But the point is, when you go in this haunted mansion, he's there. He's the phantom of Phantom yep. Manor. And so already you see you see differences. You go into the stretching room, the paintings are stretching, and then, you know, you get to the part, of course, there's always my way, and it cuts to the man hanging. Yep. This guy's hanging him. It's not yep, just it's not like, just the dude hanging there. Yeah. He, the phantom is above him holding the rope by his fist, yep. laughing. Ah, ha, ha, mm-hmm. ha, ha. And I remember going through that, and Derek's, Derek was cracking up, just like, oh, man, that guy murdered that dude. You know, it yeah. wasn't like, it wasn't in the cute, charming uh, no. fashion that it was here. It was like, yeah, oh, Derek was just like, oh, man, that guy murdered someone and showed us all the dead body. You know, it was just yeah. like, this is a little darker. Yep. And so it's all, everything there has this theme of, the bride is in it a lot more, but she's, like, really upset. She's, like, there's one room where you go in, and she's just le- yeah. over over her, like, little, like, fur- over her furniture just crying. Mm-hmm. You don't really see her face much. Yeah. Yeah. Occasionally, like, but it's very, it's usually covered yeah. up, or dark, not lit up. And in the ballroom, mm-hmm. she's at the top of the stairs again, just, like, weeping yeah. or something. It was creepy. Seeing the bride there just kind of lingering around, upset, Yeah, was like, ugh. And then the phantom would be hanging around. But then You'd be it, like in a window, like looking at her crying in, yeah, the, in the ballroom. That was yeah. creepy. Yeah. But then um, the scariest part was that when you go out again over here in Disneyland, at the the last part is you go into the graveyard. You you turn backwards and you lower into the graveyard, yeah. and they're all hanging out. You're one of the ghosts. Let's all hang out. Yeah, let's have fun. And over there, you get lowered into like where the mines collapse, and there's like skeletal hands trying mm-hmm. to get onto your. There, there are coffins. Sti- it's like straight up poltergeist. Yeah. There are coffins sticking out of the dirt. Yeah. And and like. Just skeletons, and yeah, decomposition, and they're trying to get on your vehicle. Like, oh, you're going back to the land of the living. Well, let me get on that, you know. Yeah, and then you go past that, and it's like an old, it's like old western town full of dead people. Yeah, and what I have to say is cool about that. I don't know if you you knew about this, what? but a lot of the little pieces that are there are actually taken from the great unbuilt ride that Mark Davis tried to build in the 70s but was denied. Western River? Western River Expedition. Cool. Little pieces of that. Little, um, like the names of buildings. Yeah. Little things that are were supposed to be in that town, in, in that ride, mm-hmm. are in that awesome. little gulch outside, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, Phantom Manor. I have a feeling the Snow White ride broke down because I'm looking at the exit and the lights just turned on. Oh, yeah. So, that would, damn. We oh, she's on her phone. It. She's yeah. on a phone. Something's going down. Someone's dead. Yep. There's going to be, a, we're going to see Somebody a body. Somebody ate the apple. I promise <laughs> someone ate the apple. Figuratively, I guess. Yeah. Um, or literally. But uh, if we see a dead body, I promise we'll whip the camera around yeah. so that everyone at home can see it. We didn't do it for the lit up, like, no. the thing. But, but if there's a dead body, yeah. we'll show it to everyone. So for don't sure. worry. You won't miss it. Anyway, um... No, but all those little things were from yeah. little. There's little gags from that, which I thought was great. But yeah, the phantom is there, just cackling at you. Um, now I have heard, originally they recorded a narr- a new narration for the Phantom Manor when it opened. Mm. It was narrated just like ours here, but yeah. by Vincent Price. Yeah, I, I've and I've I looked back and I've yeah. watched the Vincent Price. Oh one, really? And how he had a hard time like. Um, uh, like speaking French yeah. for the whole thing yeah. and like that. So I think, I, but I, I think it was in English when they first played it. Really? Right? Yeah. Or they tried. I, I don't remember, but I remember just seeing like bloopers of him trying to say yeah. sentences in French, and they're like, and it was hard. I hard. think maybe they gave up on that. Yeah. And they had him do it in English. English, but then not, but then it being in English didn't didn't carry. Yeah. It was like uh, we got to redo this, mm. and so they did it in French. But um, I have heard that I think, if I recall correctly, the Phantom when you go out and all the dead people yeah uh i think the phantom laughing there is still vincent price yes it okay is, for it sure. is okay that, that was a cool touch yeah. uh vincent price deserves to be somewhere in a haunted exactly. ride you yeah know? so anyway i loved phantom manor i thought it they did a good job but awesome but again just the explorative details mm-hmm. in disneyland paris are amazing yeah and what i loved was that and i don't know if it's different i think it might be different since 
They might have added there. a couple things. Yeah. I was talking to you about it, yeah. But when you leave the house, we saw that, you know, okay, the exit's that way. Boot Hill is that way. And and me and Derek were like, Boot Hill? What? Mm. And we walked that way, and it was just it just led us to a graveyard. Yeah. There were graves there for all the people who were dead that we saw on the ride. Mm. And that was it. And at first, me and Derek were like, that's it? Why did it leave us over? Why did it, this is a dead end. Why did it leave yeah. us over here? But then as it sank in, it was like, but this is what's so great about this park is it's just graves. That's all it needs to be. Yeah. It's not an attraction. You're just there, and it's like, here are the graves of all the people you saw. Mm-hmm. What a great touch, you know. Yeah. But you, it was different when you went. They though, added, I guess they added. Or um, maybe it wasn't. What I don't know. I don't know. But there is a giant like black tomb. Yeah. Just sitting there, and um, a, every few minutes you'll just hear a faint, <laughs> like 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 really? somebody banging on yeah. something, and it, it'll get louder. And louder and louder until it, it's super loud, and then it'll start getting quiet again and stuff. But it, it's just basically somebody beating on the inside, yeah, over and over and over again. And I loved it. I love creepy little touches yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was there, it or or, or it was oper- maybe not operational yeah. or whatever when I was there because I don't, I don't recall that. Um, that's a great example of great little subtle things like mm-hmm. that. I liked the haunted mansion a lot at Disney World, mm-hmm. but they added like interactive stuff in the queue and it's not it's gaudy and not creepy yeah like it's like oh look they put a bunch of instruments in this tombstone and every one of them you touch goes it's like well that's not creepy that's a play area yeah that's not it's pretty lame yeah um so anyway stuff like that yeah so anyway that was really cool phantom Mm. manor was awesome i loved it um now there oh no real quick let's talk about what was different? What's different since last time I was there? Mm-hmm. When I when I went on pirates. Okay. Now, again, gonna say it. No one's pirates is as good as Anaheim. No pirates. This is the best one. We have the best one. But Paris's was interesting because I went on it and I was like, "This is backwards. It's mm-hmm. completely 100% backwards." You see pirates out the get go, then you go through the battle and all this stuff happens, and then at the end they're all dead. That's the twist. You get to see all their dead bodies, their yeah. skeletons, and that's it. So I guess it makes a little more linear sense there. Now, again, I like it better here still. Yeah. I like getting, I like kind of getting this cautionary tale first. I think that's better. Mm-hmm. But it was still kind of cool seeing oh, that. Oh, yeah. But it didn't have any of the movie stuff. Now, when you went, it was movie stuff. Yes. Now, what, what did you see there? They, um, in terms of movie stuff, the biggest thing, at the beginning, mm-hmm. they, the lift hill for this one is at the beginning. At Here, it's at the very end. Oh, somebody's in trouble. Yep. Um, it's at the very end. And yeah. here at the, in the one in Paris, it's at the very, very beginning. And I loved their lift hill because that's where they put um, the, the waterfall with Davy Jones and everything. Yeah. Oh, they put right that the, there? Yeah. Oh, okay. And so as soon as you go into that room and start going up there, it's playing Davy Jones organ music. Oh. Super creepy. I loved it. And then cool. the, the way they lit it is um, the, it's like moonlight coming through the slats of a dock. Oh, no So kidding. you can see it, you can actually see it coming through, um, just like the light shining through it, and it's really cool. And then you have the, the one with Davy Jones and everything. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so uh, they added that, and then it, there's really not much movie stuff until the end. Okay. At the end is where they added Jack Sparrow. And, oh, okay. Um, he's just sitting on the big mountain of gold. He's not in it the rest of it? No. Really? I don't, uh, I didn't, I didn't know, I haven't heard. I'm trying to. I I feel bad because I just went there, but I'm trying to remember any time I see Jack Sparrow in there, and all I can remember is the end. I mean, I haven't heard of any other ones, so I, I, can't I don't know. I, I was like, oh, he's got to be in that barrel, but I'm like, no, I don't think he's in that barrel. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry. I, I completely forgot. What Shame he, on you. No, it's sorry okay. Sorry, I no. didn't notice the, no, the, no, the Hey, the, I block out that Jack character Sparrow every time stuff. I write through um, I don't look at it. So. They put Jack Sparrow at the end. The animatronic's better than ours. Okay. Because it's newer. Of course. Um, so it looks better. Yeah. And uh, they added an effect that I loved. They ap- they added Barbosa. Uh-huh. And Barbosa will just be uh, on the side and he'll just be like looking at you and then he'll just laugh and swing his weapon, swing his sword, mm-hmm. and he will completely change into a skeleton. Whoa. In front of your eyes. Just That's just crazy. Feel. Doesn't Shanghai kind of have an effect like I, that? I haven't seen it. I, I oh, haven't yeah. looked in at any of the Shanghai stuff. You, yeah, you're kind of like not spoiling I, yourself. I don't on that, spoil. Huh? If I haven't been on a ride, I yeah. don't watch it. Yeah. Because I know so at some point in the future, yeah. I'm probably going to go on that ride. I don't want to spoil it whatsoever. 
There's some. I never watched White Hat. You know what's funny? I'm very spoiler like phobic yeah. too. But I factor a lot of things in. One, I was like, I don't think I'm going to China anytime soon. Okay. But uh, with me and rides, there's some that are sure bets, mm. and I will not watch a frame of it. But then there's some where it's like, okay, this is different than anything I've been on. I don't want to be in for any surprises. I'm very sensitive when it comes to, you know, drops mm. or like, cra- like crazy movement, you know. So a lot of times I'll just, all right, I'm watching this beforehand, yeah. you know, whatever. I don't like to spoil things, but I'll watch sometimes. So yeah. with the Shanghai Pirates, I was like, look, if I ever go on this, one, it's not going to be for years. Two... I don't know what I'm in for here, so I'm just watching the video. Yeah. Okay, and man, that that was pretty crazy. Really? Yeah. But anyway, uh, but it has a similar trick. It I be- does. I believe. Um, I you think, can. You I can tell. The one, like, I, I saw it a couple times, but um, yeah. you can tell it's uh, like photoluminescent paint. Like they they painted it in a way that when the lights aren't on it, he's normal, and then they cover it with, like in a certain light, and everything all that melts away, and he's like oh. rotting away. Like stuff falling off of them, and it, it's really well done. Yeah, I wonder how they pull that off. Yeah, I, I don't know, but uh, it was really cool. The, uh, uh, there is an animatronic. There's animatronics on that ride that aren't anywhere near the ones they have on here. Sure. There is a swinging animatronic, a, a pirate that's basically holding onto a rope with a with a sword. Yeah. And just swing over your boat. Really? Yeah. And Man, I don't remember that. That, that how is funny. Like. I've never seen an animatronic swinging over your boat. Yeah, he's literally that's crazy. gone like swinging back and forth. Yeah, I can't remember that. I don't I'm know if it, that's new or not, yeah. or uh, um, but stuff like that. And one that you noticed too, which I researched because we didn't know. Oh um, yeah. The sword fighting animatronics were there before. Okay, but, that's what I thought. Yeah. There are there's a sword fight, and it's done by animatronics. Yeah, and it looks great. Yeah. They redid it, um, so it's a uh, male and female pirates yeah. fighting. Okay, and it looks. Awesome. Is that the only difference, though? Are they new animatronics? They might. They. they I, I wouldn't be surprised. Because it looked. Because I feel like I saw that before, yeah. and it was like cool. But I saw a video uh, yeah. recently, and it I, blew me. The motion looked. Yeah. It blew me away. I have a feeling they redid the whole thing because maybe I don't remember that that sword fighting yeah, from before, and I I'm don't. like, was that there? It must have been just really chintzy and yeah. not. And then this because it looks one, amazing now. The, the new one, uh, like the swords make contact. Yeah. And I'm I don't like, know how they're doing how that. do you do that? Like. Normally, we see sword fighting. It's just kind of like, like yeah. they make contact. They they do the thing for the movie where she like goes along the blade with hers. Yeah, and it, it's just it looks great. It was dope, yeah. man. Uh, everything I saw was super cool. Now, we have to talk about. We're gonna get a little controversial. <laughs> we're gonna get a little risky. We're gonna get, you know, we're gonna ruffle some feathers. We're gonna. I'm trying to think of what else I could say. Yeah. Uh, the controversial change of the auction yeah. scene which everyone here is up in arms about everyone's got you know they're, they're pissed everyone's pissing all over the i don't know what phrase i was going for <laughs> they're pissing they're doing it they didn't used to now they are no um they're ch- they're changing so they, they announced plans recently to change the did we talk about it on the show they, before i don't think so i don't remember if we did i'm not sure but they're, they're going to change the uh the auction scene, they're not going to auction women anymore with yeah. the sexy redhead and, you know, all that. They're changing it to just an auction. Like, they're auctioning goods. Mm-hmm. And they're changing the redhead into, like, she's with the pirate crew. She's got a gun. Yeah. She's, like, badass. A little bit of controversy. Mm-hmm. Controversy. Because, you know, some people are saying, and I totally see it, too. Yeah. I remember oh, yeah. recently writing through there and going, I'm surprised this is still here. That mm-hmm. they're auctioning women. Yeah. But, you know... I feel like it's done, context is everything. I feel like it's done it's it's done in such a goofy ass way that it's not it's just kind of like hey, hey, hey buy a wench. <laughs> it's it's so like yeah. you know dumb and the pirates oh, yeah. pirates are caricatures of awful people. Mm. So I so I didn't I didn't think like they should rip this out, but I was at the same time surprised it was there so long. Yeah. So then they announced they're going to change it. So, you know, that anyway I guess I've revealed my two cents on it. I feel like, I feel like, no, I feel like no one was really suffering by it being there. No. But, but, you know, my 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 whole thing with it is, it looked like they were just going to reskin it. It mm-hmm. didn't look like they were going to bulldoze it. It looked like they were just going to reskin it. Yeah. So I, man, if they, if they could do that and just not change the audio and just I, you know like they're auctioning stuff instead of women, <laughs> you know, yeah. then I wouldn't really care that much. But, but now look, you like, said... When you listen to the audio, though, it's all about, like, the the women. 
Yeah. And it's like, how are they going to do that without well, but there's, I feel like there's like, only a couple lines, though, that yeah, actually right. refer to it. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I, I'm not scrounging for gold, or I'm not scrounging for rum. Exactly. It'd be gold I'm after. You, they can keep some of yeah. it. Yeah. I, anyway. I, I'm a firm believer that you can change the other parks all yeah. you want. That's fine. Yeah. But, like, the original, like, original one yeah like just, that's just a lot for, like yeah. historical purposes you keep it the yeah. same yeah like, i'm not even i'm not even fighting anybody who says no. like they don't like that scene not at all but uh that's the that scene specifically is like maybe the last thing walt disney yeah. ever worked on mm-hmm. and i just feel like it's been there 60 years we're we're alive it's okay I no know. one's dead because yeah. of it you know um I, yeah i just feel like it was so innocuous you know even even the pirates chasing the women, that's a big change they made in yeah. the late nineties, mm-hmm. where the pirates there was a gag. This was the gag, and a lot of people don't a lot of people don't know how the gag actually unfolded. Yeah. But it's all pirates chasing women, like hands out, gra- and, trying to grab these yeah, women. And running away. And, and then the last out. gag is that it was a fat woman chasing a pirate. Yeah. And he's trying to get away from her. Mm. A lot of people think that was always like, oh, like he always had food and she was trying to get the food or whatever. It, mm. No, it was, it was that he didn't want the fat chick. Yeah. That's all, that's what it was. Mm. Pretty, pretty, uh, uh yeah, joke. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of rough. Yeah. Even that, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a believer in like preserving all this old stuff mm. and just writing, you know, Hey, it's old, write it off. Yeah. You know, if they built that today, that's not cool. No. It's old, not at all. whatever. It, it you know, we all we got to all acknowledge this stuff existed mm. and we're better now than, yeah. you know, than that. But even when they changed that, I don't even object to that as much as the auction it, so much because even the auction is such a like goofy gag mm. versus the the chasing women. That's a direct like Okay, they're grabbing. It's women. an aggression. That's like, an aggressive yeah. thing. So hey, you know what? I understand that a, a lot more. Mm. You know, the auction was just a dumb scene. I just yeah. feel like you know. It, now, if they were like all crying in the scene, or if there was like a a sense of like evil in it, yeah, I would understand. But it's not. It's really just plain yeah. goofy. You know, one of them is crying. Really? One of them is is patting the other on the back as she has a handkerchief. In yeah. Her face. All right. Hey. Like that. Hey, I, you got I will me. Say that. You got me. You got I do me. remember that. Yeah, you got me. Anyway, I, again, I'm not arguing like no. anyone's wrong or for for not liking that part or anything like that. But I just I personally felt like it was goofy enough that, that it, it was stay. innocuous. It, it was stay. you could keep it. Yeah. But uh, but I understood. You know, the other one I knew where it was coming from. But again, I, I I'm just a believer that if it's old enough, just leave it alone. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. They um they didn't make it like the one the one in France. Yeah. Went down for a while. Yeah. And then like. Two or three weeks before it was set to open yeah. is when they made this announcement. They're like, they're like, okay, this is about to open. We might as well announce yeah. that this is going to happen at yeah. all the other parks. And uh, yeah, there was a big uproar. But it, when I saw it, it hasn't happened here yet. It hasn't happened so, yet. But it did happen in Paris. It did happen in it's Paris. Done. So you I've seen it. it. Yeah. And it's it's just a reskinning. So yeah. they didn't really change much other than like the clothes and maybe slight positioning. Yeah. But it's all exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they said. It's all in French. So, so the audio, I, we don't like, know what they're going to do. I don't with know that. at all. And I feel like that. I feel like that's more of a make or break than yeah. the, than the reskinning. Exactly. Just like with, with adding Jack Sparrow. Mm. I don't. I honestly don't mind that they kind of like Easter egg hid him. Yeah. In the ride, it's just that they changed yeah, half the every, audio. Every, all the audio now is where's Jack? Where's Sparrow? Jack Sparrow? Where's Jack Sparrow? If, if they didn't change that, yeah. it, it'd be a lot better. Yeah. So I'm very curious about the audio. This, yes. This new one. I agree. But um, overall, it wasn't too bad. Again, change all, change anything you want in the other parks, but yeah. leave this one the same. In and, Anaheim. In, in Anaheim. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree. That's how I feel too. Yeah. Um, again, just for historical purposes. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Yeah. The one thing I did notice is because it was just fresh off of a refurb. Yes. Um, there were so many little effects that I liked that I hope they do here. Really. Um, the the part where uh, uh, Carlos is getting dunked into the yeah. uh, into the thing and uh, the, the woman comes out of the thing and no 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 when uh, they shoot the gun up to scare it the one in France actually has sparks and oh yeah and, I think I like, remember that and stuff come off the the wall like, yeah it actually has an effect like a lighting that's effect that's dope yeah that I, looks I think I remember that really really cool that would be cool that would yeah. be a nice touch to add because I, I think I think originally maybe I'm wrong. I feel like originally we didn't have like the big concussive like uh, cannonball blast in the water. No, that was a recent. That right? Was, that was when they added Jack Sparrow and stuff. Yeah. They added that too. And that was a great addition. Yeah. 
because it really feels like you're in an active battle now, yeah. and I thought that was a great move. They should do something like that. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. But maybe there's structural reasons they can't, maybe. you know, or something. It's so old they don't want to fire sparks at it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not anyway, sure. so that's a pirate story. Yeah, that's interesting. Pirates there was interesting. Pirates in Florida is a waste. It sucks. Okay. Pirates in Japan, nothing to write home about. But Paris was a unique one. Yes. Uh, so that was interesting. I, I obviously would never say that that's better. I, I like this one the most, obviously. I, but. Yeah. Uh, but it was it was interesting. Yeah. I'm, I, I like theirs. Anyway, um, trying to think of other stuff. Their, their fantasy land, um, the only thing I could really say about their fantasy land, I don't have tons to say about mm. it, uh, but a lot of stuff was closed when I was there. Like the, really? um, like the Alice in Wonderland maze was like not going when that I was, was there. That was closed? Yeah. Oh. Did you oh, go through that? Pretty, yeah, that oh, was really pretty, cool. Was it? Yeah, it's a basically a hedge maze, but there are lots of things to find, just like yeah. what we were talking about, exploring. Yeah. So there's there's secret areas, there's areas with fountains, and uh, there's a house that you can find. Really? You can see it from the outside. Yeah. But like to get to it, yeah. you have to go through the maze to find wow. it. Wow. And so that's cool. Um, but other than that, it's 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 a hedge maze. So right. Yeah. Um, it seemed cool. I mean, you yeah, know, I wanted to see it, but. Uh, their Snow White is the only one that I believe has a happy ending. Yeah. Where, where uh, you you know the other ones even I went in the one in Tokyo and mm. the queen the or the the, the witch or whatever Just killed puts, me. Yeah. Puts a rock she like on pivoted you. a rock onto me yeah. and laughed and that was it. And it's like I died. Yeah. I think it was like that in Florida originally too. Well, it's not there anymore at all now. But yeah. I think they got rid of it because kids were crying. Mm. Uh, of course, Japan loved it. But anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, but the one in, in Paris, you anything you want to say about that ending? It, that, that blow you away? It, it's we've been talking about some good animatronics yeah. throughout the whole thing. Yeah, man, <laughs> those are some bad animatronics. <laughs> you you have a normal like scary ending and everything, and normally all of the other ones end with this big grandiose yeah. battle with the witch, and then. It goes, and then it's usually something painted on the wall, like "Happy Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, famously, the, the yeah. Snow White ride here in Disneyland ends so abruptly. Yeah, the witch is fighting the dwarves, and then suddenly, happily ever after, goodbye. Yeah. Uh, so when we turn the corner, <laughs> when I went on it in yeah. Paris, they turn the corner. It's like, oh my gosh, they they all survived and they're happy. Yeah. And it's like it's like animatronics of Snow White and the Prince and all these people waving to you. Yeah. They're, they're like, thanks. They're like up it's above. Like, Whoa. And I filmed the video of it on my Instagram. But yeah. But it's just they're staring so blankly off into space. Yeah. And they're just like very rigid. Yeah. And like blinking. And it was yeah, it was old. Like <laughs> uh yeah, it was weird. Uh, yeah. They were like not moving smoothly. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. So I guess it will just always have a creepy ending. Yep. Uh, anything else in Fantasyland? I, I, I really like, have a lot of experiences there. No, it, it's all relatively similar. If not, there was not anything drastic. Peter Pan's the same yeah. billion hour wait. Yeah. And uh, it's cool, but it's not like insanely like oh this is the version to go see yeah but there are some slight differences and things like that but um uh we're not even going to talk about their their second park at disneyland paris was was the studios or whatever yeah. <laughs> that, that place sucks yeah it's not good um but they just oh what were you saying? no no go ahead they just added ratatouille though yeah and i heard that was cool only good part in that ride really because they added ratatouille but they also redid the whole area uh, so it's all like French streets, yeah, and all the like. There's Ratatouille's restaurant, yeah, and yeah. It, it's really nice, yeah. and uh, and the ride's fun. I I, I like That's the cool. ride. The queue is still going through like back alleys of uh, of Paris. Oh, that's and cool. And there's windows that have stuff going coming out yeah, of it, and yeah. all this stuff. It's really really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. But other than that, it, it's not. That good. Yeah. That... There, there's some cheesy bullshit. Yeah. There that I like an Armageddon special effect experience <laughs> and it's it's just you're on that like a Russian you're on the space station yeah and that I forgot who the actor is the guy ben played Affleck? the no the guy played the Russian in Armageddon oh I don't even oh, know oh, I don't uh, know at he's, all. He's, he's in a ton of stuff yeah but uh he, he it's basically just a ride on like on that part and like fire effects and all this stuff it's so cheesy uh, but and, but you have to make the, the the main component it's an interactive ride you have to make sure you don't miss a thing I was hoping they played that 
They, they didn't? Didn't. What a waste of time. I know. I was like, oh, I was hoping for some cheesy ass music. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a waste. Another thing, again, I, I get a kick out of some like cheesy, cheesy stuff. Yeah. The tram tour sucks, but yeah, it's Jeremy yeah. Irons being a total goofball. Whoa. And Didn't expect that. And it's just, they're, <laughs> they're bringing you and they're showing you props from like Dynatopia. Remember oh, that movie? God, Remember come the movie on. Dynatopia? Um, or um, London Has Fallen? Oh my God! It, what awful a waste movies of time. that bombed in, t- in the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And but uh, I will say they do have one thing that they took out of Disney World, and it was like Thunder something. It was basically their studio tour of special effects thing. Yeah. And it was this big like scene with a giant t- um, gas tanker, tanker truck, and everything, and everything start rumbling, and, yeah. and it's and uh, water will just pour over the the front of the yeah, train. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they they ripped that out for Star Wars Land at Disney World. Yeah. And they still that's not even the only place in the world they still have it. Yeah. Is that place. But, yeah, that was kinda interesting, yeah. but uh, that it's, park sucks. It's <laughs> totally sucks. It's not worth it. But yeah. it, there's some cheesy stuff that I enjoy. Just like uh, uh, Universal Studios. I yeah. still get enjoyment at Universal Studios sure. some of it's just way gone. A lot of cheese, yeah. but it, you can find enjoyment in it. Yes. I just wanted to say, speaking of cheesy, my, my favorite moment, I think I've talked about this elsewhere before, but my favorite moment being at Disneyland Paris was uh, being at, uh, we went to, there's a barbe- there's actually a an American barbecue place yeah. in their frontier land, mm-hmm. and we went there, and you know, it was all French people, and me and Derek, yeah. and we were sitting at shared tables with all these French people, and for some reason, I don't know why, we were talking about Hulk Hogan, and it turned into me singing, I am a real American. Oh, I remember this story. I didn't know it was there, though. Da, da, da. Yeah, and me and him both were singing that as we were at this restaurant, and then we looked up, and all these French people were laughing at us, like, trying not to... And I was like, is it that funny? But then I realized it'd be like going to Italy, and there's a guy going, Italiano, yeah. Italiano. <laughs> yeah. Like... Don't do that. Like yeah. you look like an idiot. So anyway, <laughs> I look like an idiot. What else is new? Anyway, is there anything else? Like, is there, I mean, I'm trying Disneyland, to think. Their Disneyland Indiana Paris. Jones is bullshit. It's it's an off the shelf roller coaster. It is. It is I, I you know they didn't even that? design it themselves. No, it was no, like a, it was like it's a like generic. Like, they ordered it online. Just yeah. uh, one of those, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Their Indiana Jones is just a basic roller coaster that they yeah. skinned. To yep. be Indiana Jones, and yep. it's not that good. It's just yeah, it's whatever. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was really disappointing because yeah. I went on the because that was one thing that was cool in Tokyo. It was like, oh, they have a Mexican themed Indiana yeah, it's, Jones. It's, it's, it's and different. it was an actual ride. And, yeah. and the one in Paris is a roller coaster that I did not go on. Yeah. Um. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of other stuff. Of course, all the hotels are themed there. Yeah. Just like they kind of do at Disney World. And when I went there, I stayed at the, uh, like, they have a New York-themed hotel. Oh, yeah. It's like you're in New York, the Big Apple. And mm-hmm. I just heard word that they're about to rip it up and turn it into a Marvel hotel. Oh. It's like Tony Stark's hotel. And it's got, like, yeah. you know, so. But that might be for the best, because I thought that was, like, actually kind of a week. You really? Get, you get there, and it's like, hey, check it out, the Mets. Yeah, like, um, and the room has a baseball with the you know with the you know Yankees on it or whatever. Yeah. What's, what's the big New York team that never loses? Giants. <laughs> no, no, that's the San Francisco Giants. Oh, New York Yankees. It's got to be right. New York Yankees. Is, yeah, is that New York? I, think, I don't. Oh I don't my god, sports. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know. I don't watch sports, and yet I don't apologize at the same time. Anyway, yeah. um, sorry, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. The hotels there were gorgeous, and when I uh, and we went to the one the big one uh, across the lake was yeah. the giant giant incredible big hotel uh, mm. that I can't name the can't tell you the name right now I don't remember and uh, we found out that Gus from Rooster Teeth was staying there and it was like let's go see him and they had a nice little bar and restaurant yeah. in the lobby or whatever so I went there to meet to see him and it was great. He was in swim trunks and a Captain EO shirt <laughs> because the airline lost his luggage somewhere between America and Europe. Jeez. And so he bought all of his clothes at Disneyland. <laughs> at, at, yeah. at Par- Disneyland Paris. Uh, so every day was a different Captain EO shirt yeah. that we saw. <laughs> so anyway, great memory that I have. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but I, I think that's it. Is yeah, there anything else? I will say one thing is yeah. they have a Mark Twain over there. 
Oh yeah. But the story behind that is is sucks. Really? They have two things. They have the Molly Brown, and which is a I forgot what it is. The paddles are on the sides. Okay. And uh, Struan Wheeler, I think. And they have a Mark Twain, but the Mark Twain is like uh, off in an area covered. And a, like two years ago or something, they had to like do something with the area, so they moved it out, and somebody okay. took photos of it. It is rotting away. I think I've seen to, that to the point where it's like, how did, can they even bring it back? Yeah, it, it is how like falling apart. Yeah, and it's so it it, it bones me out because it's like the Mark Twain's great, and you're yeah. you're just letting it rot. Yeah, to the point where it's like, are you just gonna have to throw this away? And yeah, it's just, terrible. Just use the Molly Brown one. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. I but wonder what will happen with that. Hopefully they they spruce it up again. But it, it it's a couple years ago and it looked bad. Speaking of decrepit stuff, yeah, one of my favorite things is that like on the side of the train in Disneyland Paris, when you're on your way to Tomorrowland or something, yeah. maybe, maybe I hope hopefully I get this right. I can't remember it all the way, but there's vehicles and spaceships from the classic mother of all dark rides over in Florida horizons which was like some say the greatest dark ride ever built in mm. terms of like I mean you know obviously pirates and stuff yeah. you know whatever but it was like of the future like you visited the future it's like the most beloved gone dark ride huh. like pe people to this day are just like how did they this Get was the, this was the most awesome ride how did they bulldoze it like but I there's rumors it was structural. There's rumors it was really? like sinking and they uh, had to. But that's besides the point. Yeah. Vehicles and spaceships that were in that ride are just like laying on the side of the road. Really? <laughs> yeah, by uh, by the train, supposedly. Yeah. So if you're ever there, look on the side. It might be on the tour in the Hollywood studio, whatever thing. May yeah. But I think it's on the train tracks. Okay. I could be wrong. But anyway, sadly just sitting there. Yeah. Anyway, on that sorrowful note, is that it? That's all I can I think, think that's about. It. Yeah. I think that's it for now. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who yeah. watched or listened to this. We're going to finally get this on iTunes after talking about it for half a year. <laughs> um, but I want to say thank you to everybody yeah. um, for watching. This has been another creepy old crypt. I don't know what we're going to do next time. I don't know what to figure out. We honestly have not even talked about no. it. So I don't, know what, yeah. I don't know what you're in for. I feel like we should do the opposite of... Paris, America. We should we'll we just do, do this California Adventure. That's it. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe that'll yeah, be right. the, maybe, maybe that'll be the next one. We'll talk about all the great stuff they ripped out of California Super Adventure. Limo. Yeah, like the limo or Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Regis Philbin. <laughs> so, without further ado, oh no, well we're ending it. Yeah. The, so, further ado, <laughs> what do we say? Uh, yeah. Adieu, adieu. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Finn. Let's end it on, I'm going to end it on a shot of Fantasyland. We're going to do a scenic shot. Uh, I don't know what to, I don't know what's scenic, but. Um, there's stuff. There's Dumbo. That's kind of cool. You know what? Let's end on the classic carousel, because Walt Disney liked the carousel. We're going to do a carousel transition. Here we go. That's as far as it zooms in. That's as far as it zooms in. That's as far as it zooms in.